Not my favorite. Yeah. I would eat again and give them a chance. Does lend itself well to ranch. Well, it's garlic. Garlic and ranch go good. <clears throat> you really right. can't go wrong with garlic. All right, so... Next up, we've got a five sauce collection from Dad'll Do It. Yeah. Um, and these bottles vary in size, so like, we don't know. I don't know if that means like intensity, if it means like there's just a big quantity of the sauce, or there. I mostly picked this one up off the shelf because it has a type of peppermint that I've never had before called uh, datil. So I was very intrigued by that. I've never had it. Hence the brand name. Dad'll do it. So, let's give this a shot. Alright, now, we got five sauces here. Habanero. Well, detail the, hot sauce. It's Serrano. cayenne, jalapeno. Serrano, detail habanero. Yeah. Let's see here. At least this time we only have to worry about five of them. The next one's twenty-five, so <laughs> that will this one that one will probably do at a later date because we still have like Christmas dinner to eat today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here, I'm good. I'll try shaking it. I don't think it's gonna help. Yeah, first up the cayenne sauce. Hopefully this is very more, runny. Yeah, more promising than the previous ones we tried because anytime cayenne sauce has come up, it's been weak. Immensely weak. I mean, it, it definitely smells like cayenne. Mm. I agree. But as Archer mentioned earlier, smelling everything. <laughs> Initial sting, no flavor wiped away by the vinegar. No sting. I'm not getting anything. Nothing. There's like nothing. A slight taste of vinegar, and that's about it. Um, I'm disappointed. It's got a little bit of cayenne to it. It's not unpleasant, but it's not like memorable. I, I, it's not noticeable enough to taste for me. It's a very mild sauce. Yeah. In about every way. Yeah, Dad'll do it all right. Because I can't taste shit. Because these are supposed to be ranked like 1 to fucking 5. That's like 0.25. I, I would give it I would give it no more than a 0.05. I'm just giving it that because of the flavor. I'm not giving it that good of heat. I agree with the 0.25. It's got a little bit of flavor, but... All I mostly tasted was vinegar. Yeah, I didn't no, really like, taste much else. I can taste a little bit of salt at the beginning, but... There's not much else. Mm, yeah. Nope. All right, yeah. spicy jalapeno. Supposedly. Because, like, I get that maybe some of these don't come out blended quite right. Because I know there's like no real consistency when it comes to when you're growing peppers. But you, know, you at least ought to have like batch tasters or something. One would think. kind of curious to see like where the sauces are where they like scrape the stuff from the bottom of the barrel like the I think spicies. we found that with the last one well I'm saying like the, the yeah, spicy stuff like that, that fucking chipotle one I'm pretty sure was the bottom of the barrel maybe even the underside of the fucking barrel I think they might have dropped that barrel in dog shit first yeah. that's entirely possible <clears throat> Yeah, no, that didn't, yeah, that Madaburu P shit was just. I don't know how to describe it really. Awful. I can't describe it in a single word. <laughs> shit. Shit, pathetic failure of a sauce company. Like out of seven products, I'm not impressed by a single one. No. 
I wasn't impressed by the first one either. Like, I don't know, I still say that that fucking, that garlic one was actually good. As long as you're using it for cooking. It's a good garlic sauce. It's not good for fucking anything else. Jalapeno ain't bad. Pretty mild for jalapeno. Oh. Very vinegary. That's what I was thinking. I don't really taste much jalapeno. I just taste vinegar. Yeah, not bad, but the vinegar overrides it. Very, very vinegar. There's almost a real mild off flavor that's, I don't know, unnatural, almost like a little bit of soap or something. I can't quite... No. Soap? I don't know. There's something to it that doesn't taste like it should. It has like an odd little bit of an aftertaste that I don't like. It's not quite that bad, but I, like, I'm trying to describe the direction in which it is. I, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to pinpoint, but I don't think they had a direction. When something tastes this. off in an unnatural way. Maybe you're tasting the food coloring. Could be. If they had to put that much food coloring in here, I'm kind of concerned because <laughs> we got three more sauces left. Well, my thing is, is if it's a jalapeno sauce, it should be green by default. Why the fuck did you have to add blue coloring to make it green? Just a thought. I know in today's society, to a point, that's a fucking crime. You're not supposed to do that. But. All right. So this is the red serrano. Well, I use serranos in my homemade salsa, so. Well, we'll see about that. Two sauces in, and not, not much to speak for them. And I'll I'll say broadly because it seems to be consistent. Most of these... This smells like the jalapeno. Most of these, if added with just a little bit of it's ranch, they're a little better. But the thing is, if you have to add ranch to make it better, well, you know... At that point, you lost my attention. It doesn't doesn't say a lot for it. No, it doesn't. But pretty and consistently... This is extremely runny. Pretty consistently here, when I've tried it separately Whoa. with ranch, a lot of like these... Like I said, it's extremely runny. A lot of these we've been trying have been better, but... certainly is very very and I don't have a high for this it's probably way too much fucking vinegar in it yeah, yeah. salty too vinegar that's all I'm tasting did they grind up fucking anchovies and put them in this Worcestershire concentrate. I have no problem with Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce isn't terrible. This is supposedly red, red serrano pepper mash. They must have mixed it wrong. Yep, anchovies on this one. I don't know about that one. No. This one says it only has like five ingredients. And they didn't mix them right. So, no. Boring, bland. Little to zero flavor. No, because even if I wait to see if it's going to fucking sting, no. I expect, it, I expect it heat, but at this point, it's like it's like shooting a porcupine quill at like a 50-foot target, and you get like barely on the red on the outside. It's like nothing. Yeah, exotic datil hot sauce, a rare and exotic pepper. <clears throat> I noticed it said rare and exotic. It didn't say anything about tasty. Yeah, 60% failure rate so far. Um, honestly, my expectations are gone. I never have expectations. Well, yeah, no, I, 
I expect at least one of these to be hot. Fuck no. This one, I don't know if we're actually going to get anything out of it, because it seems like there's a lot of ingredients in it. Like, a lot of ingredients. Looks runny. Yeah. Pours out like water. Most of them have been. Well, except for the Melinda's. It's a good thing we have those. Because we're going to probably going to have to do one after this. Uh, I would virtually fucking guarantee it because all we have left is that so supposedly scorching habanero. Yeah, the so-called scorching. I can already smell the vinegar in this one. <clears throat> Dude, where's the flavor? I'm getting a flavor. It's just very strange. And it does have a little bit of a kick to it, but not... I'm getting a little bit of fucking sting, but nothing. I don't taste shit, man. Like, what the fuck? They, I think they use too many fucking greens. I feel like... It reminds me more of watered-down Italian dressing. Well, That's it! With a little it. bit of spice to it. Yeah. Probably because there's lemon juice in it. <laughs> Like, normally I don't mind lemon juice and stuff as long as you use it right. They did not use it right. At all. Oh, no, I think... Yeah, if you compare this with the other sauces, this just has, like, five times the amount of ingredients everything else does. And they had to add other peppers to it to make it hot. So I don't think it really works. Or they just got bad peppers. So they added more stuff to a virtually weak pepper to prop up its... Well, look at the ingredients list. All that trouble, and you still wind up with a very shit product. As compared to how many ingredients are in there. See, at, at, with this one, they just didn't bother because they knew it was just going to be crap, so they just like put it in a bottle. This one, they tried to save it, but no, 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 no. I like the red Serrano one better than that one. I don't really like either one of them. Well, it's not to say that I'm loving either one, but I mean, like, you know, if I were to gauge them eh. on a scale. At this point, it's like a tier list of which is less crappy. Eh. Supposedly scorching habanero. Bold and burning. Right, we'll see about that. Promises, promises. <clears throat> the P in promise stands for psych at this point. <laughs> Pretty sure the B at the beginning of bold and burning is probably bullshit. <sighs> These have so far been very underwhelming. I keep expecting it burning here and I just. It's a little I thicker. I can't tell if it's thicker or if it's just got a vacuum thing in the bottle. I think it's just a vacuum thing in the bottle. Uh, it seems to be a little thicker. It doesn't run off. I didn't put a lot on it either. I'm just kind of like tilting it, spreading it, like, like run off. Uh, I don't think there's vacuum seal in there. <coughs> well, it smells spicier. <coughs> Although at this point, after going through fucking how many goddamn bottles, we may have dead taste buds at this point. Uh, it's coming up on... T uh, no, we're past 20. Bird. So, I don't know. Maybe. Question number one. Where the hell's the scorch? Take the habanero. Give it a minute. Sometimes they're a slow burn. Yeah, this one's a no burn. 
Agreed. Habanero usually hits me faster than that. That ghost pepper flavor had way more burn than this. Well, ghost pepper is also higher on the Scoville scale. It's one of the hottest peppers in the world. Actually, not anymore. I said it's one of. Yeah, but it it's like small on the leaderboard now. Because, like, didn't they fucking go up to, what was it, Scorpion, Carolina Reaper, the three other types of Carolina Reaper they made, and then uh, Pepper X, and then Apollo? Yeah. I like it better than the last one. Yeah, it's it's better than water. It's got a little bit of sting if you give it a minute. Yeah, it's yeah, better. It's better. Lot. It's better than watered down Italian dressing. It's it's as you said earlier. Like it's 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 underwhelming. This entire election is underwhelming. In fact, if I had to rank these from like worst to best, at the very most, they all tie. Mm. At a one. I don't know. The 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 habanero's okay. <clears throat> But if this is like, if this is how you gauge hot stuff for yourself, and you think a habanero is hot, you're going to be very underwhelmed. Yeah, I think I think I know why they called this brand "Dad'll Do It" because it was invented by Larry the Cable Guy because he has no taste either. This is his hot sauce then. No, I hope not. Although I wouldn't be fucking surprised because he had his own line of fucking, you know, uh, what was it, hamburger helper type dinners. They're setting the expectation appropriately. It'll do. Not really, no. It's not great. <clears throat> no, uh, that won't do it. This entire, like, these five are just missing stuff. All the sauces are missing things, either that or they just weren't, they either missing, didn't have anything in them. Yeah. They're either missing flavor, missing burner, they're missing both. For this one, I'd say the main thing that was just really, really bad missing was the exotic dadil hot sauce, which just tastes like watered down Italian dressing. Yeah, it, it. I was looking forward to it. I was very disappointed. Honestly, after the first one, I didn't even have expectations anymore. I just was like, they're all going to be shit. The the dado pepper is supposed to have one to three hundred thousand Scovilles, and I didn't taste any heat when that sauce got on my tongue at all. So I'm guessing that would be the one. Wait a minute, one hundred to three hundred? Yeah, one to three hundred thousand Scovilles. I think it's missing some zeros. It's missing all of the zeros. So I think it was either ten or thirteen Scoville units, which would be the equivalent of eating a fucking bell pepper. A bell pepper, would, depending on where it's grown, a bell pepper would be spicier than that. That th Those were pitiful. Like, why? Because idiots like us buy these and try them. Okay, that's fair. And then we get disappointed. <laughs> like I said, after the first one, I wasn't even disappointed anymore. I don't know. After that very fucking first sauce, I was very disheartened that they were still putting that shit on the market. It's like, it's like expectation, reality. No, this is all reality. Expectations been at the fucking window. My expectations went from 10 to 0 faster than my bills hit my bank account. That was, yeah, that, that first one was fucking disgusting. That's, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, on to the Melinda sauce. I don't know which one it is now. Ba ba ba. The ghost pepper right. sauce. Cool. So let me just uh, excuse yeah, yeah, pour me. yourself some milk. Yep. You're probably gonna need it. Yeah. Because <laughs> they actually know how to make their sauce, so this is that, probably hot as fuck. Anyone that, else? That may still need the thing pulled off it. Want some milk? Anybody else? Uh, yep. Yeah. I will probably have to go get a fucking glass. I don't know. It's off here. There's glass here. It's gonna. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if Burb was going to need one or not. Pretty sure he can just drain his tea and use that. Oh, he, he loves this shit. Yeah, I... I, I 
Like, I'm a glutton for punishment. Isn't this I, like your second or third bottle of this? Goddamn stuff? discount chili class over here. That one, no. That's probably my fourth or fifth bottle of that sauce in this household. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's the only one in the house who eats it. How much did you just give yourself? You are fucking insane. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I don't I don't hate my ass that much. Yeah. <laughs> if you're stuck on the toilet tonight, I'll make I him feel better. Watch us. I'll make him feel better. Oh, look at yeah, this. Look at, look at this way. If he's stuck on the toilet, My, that, mine's that, gonna that be drenched. Line, next time you have to use it, it won't be cold. Mine'll be drenched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> I put two dabs on there. Oh Just think gosh. about it that way. Just think about it that way. There if you're stuck go. on the toilet for that long, the next time you have to use it, it won't be that cold. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to take... I, I want to watch him eat it before uh, anybody Although else. you may want to take a clothespin downstairs with you. I'm, I'm going to watch him eat it before anybody else. Go ahead, dumbass. <laughs> go ahead. R.I.P. Crash Jester. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Mind. It was a good run, boys. <laughs> Not that bad, actually. Though I should probably wait. Give it a minute. It does build. Just because it didn't hit you immediately doesn't mean it won't hit you. Because, you know, kind of like Reapers, Pepper Axe, Apollos and shit. Oh, I remember my first Carolina Reaper. I was like, oh, why does everybody think this is so hot? About ten minutes in, I had my face over the sink like this. <laughs> and then realizing like the water. water doesn't help. Yeah, and then taking a gallon of milk and basically chugging it. in your uh, oh, it's, it's getting me respiratory now. system. It's getting me. It'll clear up my sinuses, I'm sure. That's the only positive thing that'll uh, come out of this whole thing. Fucking bird going for seconds over there. Dallas is <laughs> next one. Just like, oh, I don't know what you guys are over here complaining well, about. Well, this is called City. This is that shit. Yeah. <clears throat> this is also the man who's had two fucking hernia surgeries because his, you know, his, his, his balls keep trying to fucking escape because he keeps doing it to himself. <laughs> 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 His body's just like, you know what? You have enough balls on your own. You don't need these. Either that or it's, you know, the intestines trying to run away, so they keep rupturing his fucking stomach lining, trying to get out. Yeah, even for, Not a bad sauce. Even for fucking ghost pepper, that's, that's still very good. That's It's tame, but it's nice. I like it. It's a soft heat. For a ghost pepper wing sauce, yeah, definitely. It's got a build. It definitely does. You have to wait. So it's I, a slow and long build. With yeah, so far the lesson here is um, buy Melinda's. Yeah, fuck the stuff in the sauce packs. Buy Melinda's sauces. They're way better. So far, every one of them. I mean, because we had yeah, Mod Boru P. That'll do it. Sucks. Global collection. Awful. Shitty. Just collectively awful. And we're not sponsored by Melinda's, no. by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, if, if you guys want to Actually, if you look at the size of my fucking channel, you should be able to tell. I'm not fucking sponsored yeah, by anybody. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> if any Melinda's reps watch this, give us call it a sponsorship. I would be happy just to take some free sauces. Send in some free sauces. Fuck it. <laughs> Melinda, send me free shit. We will use them. <laughs> but of the stuff available at Walmart, so far, Melinda's sauces yeah, no, reign Melinda's supreme. Melinda's products would be, like, just your best bet. Uh, yeah. Frank's, better flavor, better burn. Frank's is decent. If better. you're looking for a decent one, Louisiana's is okay. 
I will take the Melinda's fucking green sauce over Frank's any day of the week. Yeah, Melinda's Band has day. much more variety compared to like every other one on this list. They have much more variety. They have like just everything else like nabbed in the ballpark. Right. I I, I would take the Melinda's over Frank's any day. Or maybe it's just because I'm fucking tired of Frank's. Because everybody around here fucking uses it. Well, you know, like, like you, you work around that stuff long enough, you, t- you try it at some point, like, honestly, I don't see the appeal. It's the same hot sauce. Oh, no, I, I fucking worked as a kitchen manager at Pizza Hut fucking forever. I hate pizza now. Yeah, because your car smelled like it for fucking months after you quit. Months? What was it, months or years? Years. It was a minivan. Oh, yeah, no wonder the smell lingered. Yeah, because all the fucking big orders that got fucking sent out of the store got sent with me. Yeah, so, if you want to save yourself some financial disappointment and some culinary disappointment... And potentially, buy, you know, save your family fucking relationships, don't buy them those fucking sauce packs. Just, just, go, find, just, go, buy, just go find, like, three bottles of Melinda's and buy them those instead. Yeah, because you will be much better off. These sauces fare much better. And chances are... Your family won't want to kill you at the end of the night. So, save your family relationships. Bye, Melinda.